Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today in this video, we'll be talking about the iPhone 15 Pro. In this video, I'll be sharing my 15 day insight about this smartphone. Hey guys, I'm your host Shomit Said, and without any further ado, let's get started. At the first glance, the existing iPhone users with iPhone 14 Pro or 13 Pro might find it challenging to differentiate the iPhone 15 Pro from their current devices. They appear nearly identical with the only notable change being the introduction of the action button, which we will discuss later in this video. The iPhone 15 Pro series comes with a titanium build, making them slightly lighter than their predecessors, a difference more pronounced with the iPhone 15 Pro. Additionally, this time around we have a new port type replacing the lightning port which introduces a level of universality in iPhones. The iPhone 15 Pro also comes with ultra-thin bezels enhancing the viewing experience and the overall aesthetics of the display. As usual with the new iPhones, the display remains a standout feature. It boasts a 120Hz OLED Super Retina display delivering a silky smooth experience. The screen is adequately bright for use in daylight and the colors are remarkably accurate, resulting in sharp, crisp visuals. To add an extra layer of protection, the display comes with ceramic shield glass, but I still recommend using a decent screen protector for scratch protection. Under the hood, this iPhone is powered by the new A17 Pro chip, which is 16% faster in single-core and 13% faster in multi-core performance when compared to its predecessor, the A16 Pro. With 8GB of RAM, this phone excels in performance, handling multiple tasks with ease. Now let's dive into the camera capabilities of this iPhone 15 Pro. The cameras on this iPhone are undeniably powerful with a 48MP main camera, a 12MP ultra-wide lens and a 12MP telephoto lens. Notably, the camera can capture 12-bit RAW images, a remarkable feat for a smartphone surpassing even my mirrorless A74 which is limited to 10-bit. When it comes to video recording, the iPhone can shoot ProRes log at 24fps making it suitable for on-the-go short film production. With the introduction of Type-C port, you can even shoot log at 60fps provided you connect an external SSD. On the screen, you will find some photo and video samples taken with the iPhone 15 Pro. Regarding battery life, I am consistently getting around 12 hours of usage. I charge my phone to 80% and leave for college at 8am and it lasts until around 7 to 7.30 in the evening. The inclusion of the USB port has significantly reduced charging times, taking approximately 35 minutes to charge from 0% to 80%. Well, initially during the first few days of purchase, I faced a lot of heating issues with this iPhone. The phone was actually heating when it was kept idle. But after an OTA update, that problem has been reduced, but still sometimes I feel that the phone is heating a bit too much than usual. The action button on the iPhone 15 Pro is a noteworthy addition that aims to enhance the overall user experience. This button provides users with a new way to interact with the device, offering a convenient and customizable feature that sets the iPhone 15 Pro apart from its predecessors. The action button, positioned strategically for easy access, can be configured to perform a range of functions, making it a versatile tool. It can be assigned to launch specific apps, trigger shortcuts, or even perform tasks depending on the user's preference. This level of customization is a welcome addition allowing users to tailor their iPhone experience to their individual needs. In conclusion, the iPhone 15 Pro is an excellent option for the first-time iPhone buyers. The action button, while a nice addition, doesn't significantly alter the user experience, making it less critical for existing iPhone users to upgrade unless necessary. Okay guys, with that being said, we come to the end of this video. So this was my take on the iPhone 15 Pro. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this video will help you in deciding whether you should buy this smartphone or not. With that being said, if you're new here, then do consider hitting the subscribe button and also pressing the bell icon, which will keep you notified whenever we upload a new video. With that being said, this is Shamit Seth signing off. Peace.